Okay, in this video tutorial, I will show you how I made those very accurate moves. So, in order to make a very accurate move, you need a patient, obviously. And the other thing is a recording of the original game. Uh, and it have to be 60 FPS. So here is an example recording of the original game for certain moves. So it has 60 FPS. So the most reliable tools and the most quality tool you can use actually is the built-in recorder of the Windows 10. You can access here, go to settings, gaming, capture, Make sure the auto quality is high. Video frame rate is 60 FPS and video quality set to high. By default, it's all standard and 30 FPS. So the quality is not good enough. After this, quality is quite high and the file size will be reasonable. Now it's more reasonable than most recording software like those uh, fraps it will create a huge file but this one is reasonable so after that the recording will be here I can't record the original game now because I'm using uh, OBS I cannot record simultaneously for two strings so my computer simply can't handle that so after that, you will need a tool to play the record frame by frame. So I will use this uh, AVI Demuxer. And this is the recording. So you can see this is a video editing tool, but my I'm not editing this video, actually I just want to watch the video frame by frame. So I will be using this video to create a light punch move of Kuroko. So I just... Okay. Light punch. So first, we need to prepare the sprites, right? We need to prepare the animation, which is animation 200, have 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 frames. So I will tweak the hitbox a little bit. Okay. Tweak the hit box a little bit. two frames so I copy to next maybe I also can use on this frame and I delete this one delete this one uh, 
by the way, uh, the hitbox will not be accurate because I don't ac have the access to the hitbox of the original game. Even I have the access, uh, it won't act, uh, behave like the original game because uh, in order to make hitbox accurate, your op opponent, your enemy, also need to have accurate hitboxes or else uh, it won't act like original game so actually the most important thing is not hitbox but this timing or frame data uh, here I will need to decide how the attack area I see the attack area Actually, I don't know, but I can just make an approximation. So, here, maybe, maybe, so it's from her head to the skirts. I think it's four times per wrist. Okay, from skirt to head. Maybe this large. I don't know. Okay. Now let's head to the most important part, which is counting frames. So this is the first frame. So how many time or tick it costs? Let's count. So this is first one, two, three. So it's counting two, two. Next frame. One, this is already one, two, three, four. So it will be three because I count to four to the next frame. How about this frame? One, two, three, four, five. I count to five, so it's four. Next frame, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven, so it's six. Last frame, this is already one, one, Two, three, four, five, six. So six, it will be five. Okay, this is accurate now. But there's another problem you may face because your computer may be not powerful enough, so the video may lost frame. So for example, if the video lost one frame, one of the uh, sprite may took uh, took some additional frames, and you don't know. So in order to prevent this, uh, you make the move several times, and then you check against the another identical move. For example, this one, I will check another swing. Okay, so this is another attack, not another attack, another time of this light punch attack. So in order to prevent the recording error due to lack of your lack of the PC performance, 
Now let's try. So the first frame should be two ticks. One, two. Next should change. Three, yes. This one it should be have three ticks. One, two, three. Change. This one four. One, two, three, four. Change, yes. Six, one, two, three, four, five, six. Change, yes, correct. Five, one, two, three, four, five. Change, okay. So the frame rate is correct. And I save it uh, because she is using the uh, Mikoto template. So a lot of code already there. Uh, the second thing is the effect. This effect. And since the original game actually uses a 3D engine, this effect is this curve. The thing actually is uh, wait. It's in the clock. Yeah. So. The curved thing actually is this one. Yeah, this one. So you will really need some Photoshop skills to do this. So it won't be perfect because my Photoshop skill is. Uh, Lousy. Uh, so I will jump to the effects. So this is the effect animation. So I will decide first, look like this one, two. Three, four. Wait. So it looks like only have two frames, three frames. So here is what I what I am having is like this. I have three sprites and I have to make these three and map to here. So the last one contain one, two, three, four, five. So the last one have four and the first and second one let's see one two three four five four then each one got two It will be like this. And let's count again. One, two, three, four, and 
3 and 4 have no difference. Okay. Yeah. Now let's head to the coding part. So this is normal, standard, move type is attack, physical is. Everything looks fine. And here, uh, let's find out the voice. The light punch voice I grouped up. So only two hundred and uh, two hundred one. So here will be only two sounds. And when she will make the sound? Maybe I don't know. On the second frame. Okay. So this is the whoosh sound. Is what the this watch sound sounds like? So it will be Not this one. Maybe this one. Okay, I don't know. Because the music. Maybe I choose the first one, which is zero. I also let it play at second frame. And this is the explore, but this will be not hand electronic. Hand electronic is for Mikoto. So I just put FX. So in which frame? It will be in the Third frame. When third frame, I play this FX, which is six two hundred six two hundred. So where shall I place it? Uh, okay, I just change the scale to one. Angle is zero. I don't need to the angle. Here is a very important part. Ignore hit pause equals to zero. If it, you set to one or ignore it, when the when this hit box hit another side, uh, this effect will continue to play. But we don't want that. Okay, let's try to place the effects. So we turn on the onion skin and then navigate to the effect. Let's try to place it. So it will be like this. Okay. So her hands is 
crossing the rain. No. Your hand should crossing the rain. Something like that. It looks good enough. So the coordinate will be 188. Where is it? Yeah. So it will be 188. Okay. Also 188. So it's negative 188. Let me check again. Okay. Amazing. So here is the heat definition. So this for this part I skip first. Mm. Either. So when will be the move become either? Okay, I have to put this to the original place. So it will be idle at frame 5. So at enemy element time 5. It will be idle. So she will be open for attack. After the animation play, it will be finished. Okay, let's try it out. So let's turn on the hitbox. So we can inspect frame by frame mm. so the hitbox is not far enough okay. I will increase a little bit I can refresh Make perfect. The next step is to deal with the hit, actual hit. So we have observed the heat very closely okay, the first thing you can observe is the damage and this original game is very friendly it tell you what the damage is uh, but here the total life here actually is uh, 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 10,000 I think instead of 1,000 but in Mugen it's one side so we have to take one zero out so the damage is actually 30 so the first thing is I change damage to 30 and here already 30 so I don't have to worry about that and the attack happens in the third frame so I change animation elements to 3 uh, hit flag or god flag priority for which is the default one uh, if you 
turn this up you will make your character cheap uh, get power I leave it default give power leave it default and here is the very important part is the hit pause and the guard pause so hit pause and a guard pause and this uh, ground slide time will be very crucial to maintain accuracy uh, if you just randomly set those numbers uh, it will be not very satisfying okay so we need to find what the number is so the hit pause actually is when uh, Kuroko hit Misaka and the time and all the frame passed before Misaka start, start to slide away okay. so let's count so one thing <coughs> actually troubles me I don't know whether this frame counted as hit or not <laughs> I really don't know whether this is considered hit or not you know, there's another thing this effect actually is behind Oracle so uh, I need to change the FX the sprite priority should be 0 because the person is white hit white as a 0 Okay, so let's see. Okay. So I don't know whether this is considered as hit or not. So I will not counter this as hit. I first maybe later we can comp compare. So next thing I will counter as hit one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So the tenth frame, Misaka looks like she start to slide. Ten, right? Yes, this is ten. So this is the first slider move. Slider, uh, how do you say? Slide frame. So this is the first slider frame. So maybe this one is considered as hit. Okay. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, thirteen, thirteen. So basically, saying uh, had Kuroko have the same attribute uh, as Misaka. Uh, another thing is the frame advantage so see Misaka recover before Kuroko Misaka recover Kuroko didn't next frame not to recover recover so Misaka will recover two frames in advance actually. One, uh, not one. One, two, both recover. So this is what we are aiming for. So let's try in Ogan. So I will try to hit her. Oh no, not this one.
So this frame actually considered as hit. So it will be counted. So that's why here is 10, not 9. Here is 10. Even Nisaka is not playing a uh, hit animation, but this frame actually counter as hit. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Next frame Misaha should start to slide. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Recover? Eh, hey, not to recover. Recover. So something wrong. Something wrong. So let's try again. Not this one. This is 10, right? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 8, 9, 10. Next, show the slide. Oh, I got it. I got it. Why it doesn't count? So uh, here is not right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12 11 So in Mugen the first frame I guess this this frame actually doesn't count as hit force maybe I make it to 9 Fresh. Okay, let's try again. So, in Mugen, I actually did, you need a full keyboard to diagnose and debug. So, in order to freeze the time, you can press the pause button, and you can press the scroll look, scroll look. But on a full keyboard, a normal key, uh, normal small keyboard, don't have this key anymore actually. So you press scroll look, look, and you can advance frame by frame. So this one looks like the count, so we count the next one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Does it start to slide? Yes, like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, 
Recover? Yes, recover. Powerbank Global. Uh, that's wrong, right? Whirlpool should recover two frames after the Beacon Sakura. Okay. Let's make sure again. Okay, let's check here. So this one doesn't count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Misaka should slide 10. Yes, she is slide. She is sliding. Okay, so Misaka's timing is correct. That means Kuroko's timing is not correct. So how we can fix this? Um, so that means here maybe Corpus post time have to be 10 Let's count one. This is the first one. One. Let's count how many frames she will change animation. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fourteen. So after I change here, Krogo should change his her uh, animation at 14. Okay, let's try. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. No, she didn't change. Oh, she changed that to fifteen. But the final result is correct. Uh, this must be due to the engine difference so maybe I cannot create an identical move uh, what to do? Recover. Next should the next frame should stay. Then recover. Yes. So basically, I made this move. The final result is correct. Misaka will have two frame in advance to recover, but Kuroko. Uh, the Kuroko side, the whole animation results is accurate, but in the process, maybe somewhere, I cannot figure out why. Um, basically, this is my best shot this time.
And here I find another issue, uh, which is in this vein, uh, Kuroko is uh, in the front, this FX is in the middle, and the Misa part, which is the character being hit, is in the background. So I will have to add these parameters. And here. So P1 is the attacker, and P2 is the receiver uh, character which receive this attack. And this FX is in the middle, which is zero. So that's why I gave them one and minus one. So next will be. will be the push with, uh, which is how long uh, the character who is being hit will slide away how far uh, Misaka will slide away so it's kind of this far okay? but this is very hard to measure actually because the recording and the movement that simply does not using the same size so for this part I can only use approximation so how long or how far so let's see the distance between Misaka's feet maybe similar distance right similar distance so let's try it well, let's compare so I think it need to be a little bit further Right, it have to be a little bit further. So how to tweak this? So we will need to change the velocity. Maybe Maybe this is more so here distance here it's a hundred fifty I see similar distance yes so here is good another distancing is the uh, corner push. So in the corner, you should distance like this. So here is a little bit smaller, I think. Here is a little bit small. Uh, this simply is too close, so. We will increase this to 28 maybe. Mm. 
I think it's uh, reasonable. Next thing will be the uh, air hit. Uh, actually, we don't need to uh, take care of the guard because the guard always have the same behavior and timing uh, with the hits. So here, here clearly see Misaka. If there's no user input, Misaka will fall. It will fall to the ground. So here, four equals to zero. Me, which means if she is standing on the ground, she will not fall. But if she is not standing on the ground she will fall this is the behavior but she also can recover if there's user input this is the recover and what will decide the recover is this timing it's called a fall recover time uh, actually I find this is hit pause plus slide time plus the wait time so this 28 actually included is 10 and 9 uh, I, I think it should be this 9 and plus 13 so 9 plus 13 is 22 and there's a 4 frame uh, 4 ticks you need to wait uh, but something here is different from the original game so in this Mugen you will be able to recover only in certain states for example, if I search, uh, not this one. Actually, you, if you are in states fifty fifty, you are able to hit these buttons to recover. If you are not in 50-50, then you are not able to recover. So this is uh, some difference uh, to the original game. Uh, but I think it's not too crucial to the gameplay. So I just leave it. Uh, if I have to change it, I think I have changed a lot. Then okay, that's it. Thanks for watching.